Exploring the power of prefixes. Unlocking English vocabulary. Hello, English learners. Today, we're diving into the world of prefixes. Have you ever wondered how the meaning of a word changes when you add a small group of letters in front of it? These letters are called prefixes. Understanding them can significantly expand your vocabulary and make learning new words a breeze. Let's get started. Before we delve into examples, let's define what a prefix is. A prefix is a group of letters attached to the beginning of a word to modify or change its meaning. Prefixes are used in many English words, and knowing them can help you guess the meanings of unfamiliar words. Now, let's learn some of the most common prefixes and what they mean. 1. N. This is one of the most common prefixes in English. It indicates negation. When you add un to a word, it means not. For example, unhappy means not happy. 2. Re. This prefix means again or back. So, redo means do again, and return means come back. 3. Dis, similar to un, dis, also indicates negation or reversal. For instance, disagree means not agree. 4. Pre, this prefix means before. For instance, preview means view before. 5. Anti, anti, signifies against or opposed to. For example, antibacterial means against bacteria. Remember, the meaning of a prefix can slightly change based on the word it is attached to, so it's essential to consider the whole word's context. Now, let's practice using prefixes to create new words and expand our vocabulary. Take the word, agree. We've learned the prefix, dis, means, not, or, the opposite of. So, disagree, means, not agree. How about, do, with, re? It becomes, redo, which means, do again. Easy, right? Try creating some words using the prefixes we've learned. Understanding prefixes is like having a key to unlock the meanings of thousands of new words. Once you become familiar with common prefixes, you'll be amazed at how much easier it becomes to understand and learn new vocabulary. Well, that's it for today's lesson on prefixes. We hope you found it helpful. Remember, the more you practice, the better you become. So, keep using these prefixes to create new words and enhance your English vocabulary. Thanks for watching, and keep practicing. Remember, learning is a journey, not a destination. Happy learning, and we'll see you in the next video.